Hey, it was good. Welcome to my fifth day of Roberto Duran week. This is my second video of the day. May it might be my last of the day. Uh, this tribute week is inspired by the Fight City. Go check them out online and on Twitter and all of that jazz. Right now, we'll be talking about Roberto Duran versus. Pipino Cuevas, which took place on January 29th of 1983. This was a very important fight for both of these men, a crossword, uh, crossroads fight for both of these men. They were both seeing if they could come back to win titles at 154, both being former champions at, at welterweight. But Pipino Cuevas suffered the loss against Tommy Hearns. No shame in that, but check that fight out. Um, that that knockout is on par with Duran getting knocked out by Tommy Hearns because that one's nasty. It's like Hearns hits, hits his trademark right hand and then and then Cuevas like wants to go down but forward and then Tommy Hearns hits him with another one, the killer, man. Just go check that, check out that knockout. It's brutal. And of course, Duran was still recovering from the Nomas fight, man. Humiliating loss to Leonard, of course. And 1982 was a horrible year. He he lost to Wilfred Benitez. No shame in that. He's a Hall of Famer. But then he lost in the upset of the year against Kirkland Lane. And then he lost to Jimmy Batten. So three losses in a row. Oh no, he beat Jimmy Batten, but he, yeah, so he lost to Wilfred Benitez and then he lost to Kirkland Lane. He came back and beat Jimmy Batten. Pipino Cuevas was off a loss against Roger Stafford, which in that, that was, that was the upset of the year 1981. So both of these men had seen better days. That's why it was a cr crossroads fight because let's see. Who could get them back into contention to become a champion once again? And that's why the, these, this fight was so important. Look, Pipino Cuevas never fought for a title after this fight. This was his last like world-class championship fight. But Duran, of course, did. That's how much this, light, this fight meant to each man. It meant to revive his careers. And this revived... Roberto Duran's careers. It started slow. The first two rounds, you got Duran jabbing, circling, and you got um, Pipino Cueva still coming in, landing some body shots, trying to land some big shots, but not really going all out like he usually did, especially with his power. But he didn't really go all out. But Duran wasn't really throwing much, so that's why Duran, that's why um, Pipino Cueva was winning those first two rounds. Come round three, that that's when the war started. These both these men started throwing haymaker shots and haymaker shot. You got um Cuevas hitting landing hard left hooks and rights to the to Duran's body to his chin, but really wasn't phasing him. I say Duran when he's good, he's good, man. No one's gonna beat him. It's just when he was he wasn't training, when he was taking vitamin um these other pills, weight loss pills. When they made him drain down in a few months, when he wasn't good, but when he was well trained and ready, he could beat anybody. He was taking Pipino Cuevas shots, who's a murderous puncher at welterweight, who was a murderous puncher. And Duran took his shots, and he was the stronger fighter and the bigger puncher. In fact, in rounds four, he landed, he landed a hard right hook that hurt Pipino Cuevas. He hit him once again, and then he got up. He went to the finish, man. Uh, Pipino Cuevas is not was not a good defensive fighter. You know he didn't really fight back. I mean, fight coming backwards ever. But you got Duran here forcing him to to fight backwards because he's jumping on him. <laughs> and Duran is the smaller guy, but he was obviously the the stronger guy and the guy that was the bigger puncher he cornered he he pushed him into the corner or forced him into the corner 
landed a right hand, a left hook, a right uppercut that was brutal. Then he landed a hard left hook or a right hand, I, I believe it was. That just, it, it just finished. It finished Pipino Cuevas because he got up. He, he was down to get up. He did not want to quit. But he got up and his corner just stopped it. Okay, I'm watching the stoppage right now. I'll get it right. Right uppercut, left hook to the body, left hook to the head. And then he throws a right a right hook that misses. And now Pipino Cuevas is holding the the bottom rope with his right hand. But I didn't think he was I didn't think he would get up from that. But he does get up and his corner stops the fight. He's begging it for, to continue, but he's very upset. But it the fight had to end because you got a, a a guy like Duran who's so passionate into the ring, so willing to go all out into the ring, into a in, in a fight to finish him. He would have finished him bad if the fight had continued. So this is one of this is one of Duran's signature victories because it brought him back into title contention after that embarrassing loss against Sugar Ray Leonard in that horrible year of 1982. This brought him as number one contender to Davey Moore, which I've already made a video of, and the rest is history. This brought him to that fight in which he was able to compete for his third championship in three different weight classes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Look out for my next videos on Roberto Duran Week. I believe this will be my last one of today. But look out for tomorrow and set Sunday, which will be the last day of Roberto Duran week. This has been a great week researching Dur Duran and watching his fights so far. It is a privilege and an honor. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.